Alrighty, this is the video review for the TFCon 2011 Head Robots custom, or head, custom Head Robots figure uh, third party toxin. And I'm sure some of you out there are thinking, but wait, you've already reviewed this. But I have not reviewed him with his full transtector body. Ooh, look at that. I just did this today. Um, I started it yesterday. Uh, there's still a few places I want to touch up. The paint's not great. But uh, in the comic, the TFCon comic, uh, all the masters, evil masters, are breaking out of their prison cells with Zarek and the other guys. And Toxin's all like, oh, what about me? What about me? I lost my body, so I'll just steal a new one. And he goes to the garage and he kills a dude and uh, takes over his own new transtector body, which is a... Uh, differently painted version of Chrome Dome, as you can see, blue and green and white, as uh, as envisioned by the proto-man himself, uh, Daniel Arsenault, I believe is how you say his last name. I could be wrong, and if I'm wrong, don't kill me. Anyway, so I, I got, while I was there, I got an extra Junker Chrome Dome body, and over the last couple of days, I got the blue, the blue's just plain old uh, French blue, Model Masters, Acryl French blue. The white's just the Model Masters white. And then the green is actually a custom mix of Model Masters white, uh, Model Masters chrome yellow, and Model Masters just gloss green, I think. Um, and it really is a nice kind of sickly neon-looking green, which makes him really pop, kind of matches his eyes. Oh. Um, but it's chrome dome. I mean, so there's not a whole lot to the transformation, as you know. I'll go ahead and pop the... Squeaky, squeaky, squeaky guns. We'll pop them off. And you can see I didn't bother to paint the handles on the guns. Uh, Daniel actually had uh, regular old uh, hardhead guns, so he didn't have to paint the guns green. I actually painted the guns green, um, but I left the handles red because you're never going to see them in either robot or vehicle mode. And uh, it was just easier that way. Um, then we transform him, which, as you remember, uh, Chrome Dome is not hard to transform. You just flip his legs down, flip his feet forward. I'll flip this whole section back, flip the arms around, and I still kept, he still got his uh, speed, strength, and intelligence, oh, you can't see it, uh, monitors in there, transform toxin, just whoosh, 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 fold in the tail, and plug him into his new evil transtector body. Um, what I usually do is I stick his little double-barreled gun back here in the, uh, in the, the driver's area. Plug the guns into his hands, and there you have TFCon 2011 custom original figure Toxin having stolen a copy of Chrome Dome's Transtector body. Not really a copy, just it was another one that was sitting around. It just happens to be the same body as the uh, same protoform body as Chrome Dome. So, yeah, there he is. Um, I had a good time painting him. Um, like I said, there's some places I want to touch up. But uh, all in all, I'm pretty happy with him. I'm looking forward to. Uh, I've shown him off already. Daniel seems to like him. Um, other, I know there. I know Nemesis Predaking's working on one. I know other people are working on their own versions of this guy. I look forward to seeing them. Um, I'm sure that some of the professional guys can do a better job than I did. I did this all by hand over the last couple of days, so it's not perfect. It's not bad. I like it. It's going to look great on my shelf. I'm, I'm looking forward to putting it up there. But I'm, I'm also really looking forward to seeing what everybody else comes up with. Um, so yeah, it's basically just paint all the brown parts blue, paint all the red parts green, and paint all the beige parts white um, to go with your toxin if you if you have one. Um, but yeah, just a little one to show it off. Um, got it all done. Really happy with it. Uh, TFCon exclusive custom toxin.